everyone and welcome back. I'm Diane Desiel and today my video is a special request asking me how to place the notch in the armhole when you do the grading. So I will grade a plain bodice and show you very slowly how to position it your notches. To grade a pattern piece, first thing we have to do is to trace it all around. To give my example today, I decided to use my t-shirt block because there's no dart at all. And I did it even a little shorter, so I trace until just a little bit below the waist. Now again, I want to say that the line or the little design of the bodice that is on the ruler is there just to be informative. It's to tell you where the grading goes. And I place it here where you have the black dot that is for me a medium size or let's say more or less a size 10 or 40 euro. And again, it doesn't mean that you have to use the black dot as your basic. It always depends on the size of your basic pattern. The pattern that I use today is a medium. So I will use the black as my basic size. What I usually uh, suggest is to go all around to make sure that you don't forget any point. So I'm going to start at the neck and go all around until the waist and center front. I said that my t-shirt block is a medium. If I wanted to do a large, I'm going to go from the black, I'm going to skip the turquoise and go right away to the gray on my ruler. This will be the large. Now I'm going to use my black dot and I put it right over the trace line on my paper, hold it there and align the grain line of my ruler with the grain line of my pattern. Then I'm just going to mark my gray dot. As soon as I do a dot, I will redo it with my markers. You could see it better. So if I continue, you see I have a grading point for the dart, but on my t-shirt, there's no dart. I'm just going to skip it and go right away to the armhole and shoulder point. So I'm going to put my pattern all on my black dot and put it right over the trace line on my paper. Hold it there and align the grain line, the one of my ruler with the one on my paper. Then you point the gray. Now if you continue, you're going to see another point here that is usually not in the construction or it's not a reference you have on your pattern, but I suggest that you place one a little higher than the notch. It's the shoulder blade or across front, across back. You just put a little reference so you could grade it on the pattern and on the paper. And this point is going to allow you to control better your arm hole. Now I'm going to use that grading. I'm going to place the black right on the trace line on my paper and I'm going to align my grain line. Then you just mark your gray. Now we're going to the next point that is your underarm point and here you could see I place two grading one for the underarm point and you have another one that is vertical. The vertical one we're not using today it's more when you grade tailor it's for the underarm point when you have a five panel tailor. So I'll be using only the side seam and armhole point. I'm going to place the black right over the trace line on my paper, align the grain line and just point the gray. Now if I continue, you're going to see the waist and side seam and I'm going to use it for the complete bottom. I'll place my black dot right over the trace line. Align my grain line and dot the gray. One last point to grade at the center front. You're going to use the black and place it right over the trace line on the paper. 
align your center front and just dot the gray. Now to trace my new pattern size, I usually start with this straight line. So I will have my shoulder line to trace and the bottom of my top. We're going to start slowly with the neckline and here I'm going to insist the first little part, let's say a quarter inch or five millimeter should be square with the center front and it has to remain like that. So when we trace the new line, we don't touch the first part. Now to trace the curve, we'll do it in two steps. First, we're going to place the corner right in the middle of the basic size and the new size. Right in the middle and pivot until it just touched the line. Now we're going to trace more or less half of the distance. Now this time we're going to place the corner on the new size and again pivot until you touch but this time the new line and we trace the last part. Now we're going to trace the armhole. That was the request that I had today. Usually the armhole, I do it in three steps. The first one is simply to put the shoulder and armhole point over the new one, just like that. Hold it and pivot the pattern until it touch the point that I ask you to put in the armhole. Then you could trace. The next step is to place the underarm and side seam point right between the original point and the new one. So just right in the middle like that. You hold it, you pivot the pattern until you touch the new uh, shoulder blade or across the front point right here. Now we'll be able to trace from where we left until a little bit after the notch and you do trace your notch. Now to connect with the final point, I'm going to first place it back where I finished, just like that. We'll trace little by little, moving towards me a little bit and a little bit down. Trace the line a little. Little bit towards me, little bit down. Trace a little more. Final point and we trace what's missing. We do it very slowly like that. The idea is to finish your line with pretty much the same angle as the basic. That's why I'm moving X and Y, X and Y, but very little at the time, to make sure I don't change too much the angle. There you go. Usually if you do it like that, the shape of your arm all should remain pretty much the same. It's just like we stretch it a bit. If you have a little correction to do, it's, it should be little and we just do it. Now I guess you noticed that I did trace a little bit the angle. So even if my bigger size graded down a little, got longer, I will be able to place my block right on at the bottom and touch the angle so I could trace my side seam.
there you go the bodice is graded that's it for today thanks for watching and i see you next time